Hello friends and welcome back to Stay Tonight. In this video we will talk about how you can handle and work with states in your React application. Yes. Up until now we have learned a lot of things. We have learned how you can create components, how you can write the JSX code. We have learned how you can style your JSX elements and then we also learned a bit about event handling. But the event handling that we learned about was using JavaScript code. Uh, we were using document.getElementById and in the last video also where we created the number guessing game we use document dot get element id because i did want to you know expose you guys directly to so much of react code that you guys start getting confused so we were still using javascript code but now the time has come where we start learning how or what is the react way of doing all these things right what is the react way of updating the user interface i don't want to get into the document dot get element by id and then updating the value using javascript but i want react to do it so how we can do that using react so that is something that we will learn in this particular video so stay tuned watch this video till the end because this is one of the most important topic of react js yes i'll be introducing you to a new hook hook is nothing but you know a uh, predefined functions that comes along with react js in the react library there are multiple hooks use effect is one of them use state is one of them use state is used to manage the state variables which we will be learning in this video so let's get started so like i have mentioned already uh, we will be learning about use state but before we move on to learn about use state or what this is how we can use it in the code what is the impact of it in the react application we let's just first see you know the problem that we have right so the problem is like i've mentioned already how we can update anything in the user interface for example if i say if i have some counter variable if i have some value which is initially showing over here zero and i want to create a plus button over here and as the user clicks this plus button i want to update this value to 1 2 3 4 etc right now this is a very standard incrementing problem or counter that we can create in the javascript code and we can keep on incrementing it and maybe you know you would say i can create a div element over here have an id attribute and pick the value pick the reference for this particular element and in the javascript i can keep on updating the uh, content the text content inside this div element using the text content property that's how one would do this in plain javascript but that's not how we want to do it right but let's just see how this is done in react js right so let's write some code so first what i'll be doing is let me create a simple ui like i just mentioned where we will have a counter like user interface so let's say uh you know some form to increment values for dollar or some price that we have so what i'll be doing is let me create a span and i'll have a uh, let's not just have any value over here or let's just put in some static value dollar zero okay and then i'll have a button and uh, in the button i'll have plus so as you can see now this why this button is appearing purple because in the last video we created some css we wrote some css styling over here and we have also a simple card styling so let's use this styling uh, it will make our user interface even better so if i do this card okay so now i have a simple user interface uh, i could think we can make it a little better uh, let me quickly add some more css flex apart display flex so i want these to be appearing on either of the sides so the dollar zero should appear over here and the plus should appear over here so what i will do is i will do justify content space between i have saved this but i'm not seeing any result okay so i have to use this uh if i use it over here okay now this has gone up quickly let's just fix this and move on to what we are here to learn about <laughs> yeah so now it looks fine but on click of this plus button nothing is happening because we have not created any we have not written any code for it so what we will do is the first thing that i want to show you guys is how you can do it using javascript because you might get confused and you might start writing javascript code in your react application but that is something that you should not be doing you should do things react way so first i'll show you how you can do it using basic javascript code right so let's quickly have a on click event handler over here 
and I'll create a function increment value. Okay, so we don't have the function right now. So let's create the function. I hope you remember how we can create a function. So I'll use the arrow style arrow function. Now we have an increment value function on click of this. This will be called. We can verify this by doing simple console log click. Okay. So if I click this, I will get clicked over here as you can see on the console. So our function is working just fine. Now what I'll do is, uh, like I said, you know, I will first show you the basic JavaScript way of doing it. So the JavaScript way would be, uh, I pick this uh, span, I provide an ID to this, and let's say num, and then inside of it, I have this dollar zero. I'll keep on incrementing the value, so this dollar symbol can cause a little problem. So for now, let's just you know do this. Obviously, you know we can manage to handle the dollar symbol as well, but I don't want to get into the trouble because we are not, anyways not learning JavaScript, right? So just keeping this as num and this as zero. So what I'll do over here is I'll say document dot get element by ID num. This will give me the value inside of it. Let's just see if we are getting the value. I think inner text will give it console dot log. If I click on this, I get zero. Yes. So I'm getting using inner text. I'm getting this value. What I will be doing is I will do this and I'll increment one to it. Now let's see what happens. Okay. So it's acting as a string. Oops. So we just have to convert it into a number in JavaScript. We can do it using the number object parse int function and yep. I think that should be fine. Now it's working zero, one, two, three. So the counter is working just fine. Like with the way we wanted to, although I have removed this dollar symbol over here, because that would have been a little trickier to remove the dollar symbol and then add or increment the value and then add the dollar symbol. So that's how, you know, JavaScript code becomes a little tricky, right? Still over here as well, you know, we have to write so much of code, but this is not the right way. Even though this works, this is not the react way of doing it. The react way would be using state. Yes. So the ideal way would be in react. It would be that, you know, I create a counter over here and I, you know, just let's say I keep a counter over here and initialize a value for zero. So it's showing me zero. And when I click on this increment value button, you would say that, okay, inside of this, you can do this. You can increment the value of the counter and this should work. So, so let's see how if it works or not. Now this is the react way. And ideally when I'm updating the value, it should uh, show the updated value in the JSX. But let's see if that is how it works. So it is not doing anything. The user interface is not changing. Let's just see if the value is updating fine or not. So if I refresh it. I'm seeing that the value is getting updated. As you can see, one, two, three, four, as we are clicking on this plus button, uh, the function is getting triggered and the value for the counter variable is getting updated, but it's not reflecting in the user interface. So how that is done. Now that's where the react, you know, re-rendering of component comes into picture. React will re-render your component. So this is a component, right? This is app.js is the main app component that we have. And it will be re-rendered by react.js if there's a change in the state. But for that, we have to define the state. So how do we do that? How do we define a state? State is defined using the useState function. This is the useState function. Now, in order to use it, obviously, we'll have to import this. But useState is a basic function that returns an array. And what is the array holding inside of it? So the array would have some variable which we can call the state variable. Now state is nothing but you know, a way to store different data points. So you can have multiple variables, a variable can have a numeric value, a Boolean value, a string value, or an array, or an object or a list of object, an array of object, anything you can have inside of a variable. And you can use that particular variable and store it as a state variable. So whenever you create whenever you use your use state hook, this is a hook in react.js like i said earlier as well there are multiple hooks use effect is also a hook which we will learn about in the upcoming videos so this use state hook what it will do is it will return back us an array 
and in the array we should have some variable and we'll have a setter function to set the variables value so we'll have one state variable and one set function for that particular variable which will be internally used by react.js to you know update the state variables value to set the next state value to that particular state variable and don't get confused you know let me just write the code for you so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So to use this particular hook, I'll have to first import it. So let's import it and this is how you can do it, import from. So from React, we import the use state hook, right? So now we have imported this. Obviously it is showing us the error that counter is not defined. Okay, so ignore this error, you know, uh, we'll fix all of this. Now how you use the use state hook? You create a array you equate it to this and use the use state function now like i said inside of this array we have to provide two values we will get two different values one is the state variable and the second one is the setter function for that state variable now the state variable can have any name so let's just name ours as counter and the setter function so there is a set standard way of doing it like you know set uh, counter using the camel case so this set counter will act as a setter function for this counter and react will use internally this to set new values to this but you can set any you can use any name whatever name you want this function to have you can put and use that particular name no worries inside of this use state function what we have to do is we have to provide an initial value so in our case we want to provide the counter as zero so if i save it you will see that okay zero is the value that is initialized for this counter state variable and we are using this already over here if i use some other value it will be initialized with that particular value now we have not yet changed or updated the state we have just simply set the state now this counter is set as a state variable and this set counter is a function which will be used internally by react we will also be calling this particular function to update the value of this counter variable and once the counter variable gets updated because it is a state variable react will use the updated value whenever it re-renders the user interface so we'll see all this in action so let's just put this over here zero so zero is the initial value it can have any value so we want this to have a numeric value you can even have a you know boolean value over here you can even have a string value if you want so you can initialize it with any value it can also have an array of values, right? It can have A, B. So there are different types of, you know, uh, state variables that you can create. You can create an array, an object, a number, a string, whatever you want. So in our case, we want it to be zero, uh, a numeric value. And when this increment value function is clicked, when this plus function is clicked, what we want to do is we want to increment the value of this counter variable. Now, if you want to do this, what we have done right now counter is equal to counter plus one let's see if this works or not so if i click on this we'll get a error what is the error it is saying that this is a constant type of variable you cannot directly change the value for it right now how do we do that how do we change the value for this counter because we want to update it right so we will be using the set counter function which is the state function state variable function that we have defined over here and what we can do is we can simply provide it a new value counter plus one so now let's see this is the old error now let's see if it's working fine or not so as you can see by just writing four lines of code this is actually four line of code one two three and four and rest everything is same uh, we're using the same jsx code this is working fine now uh, what is happening is we are using the set counter uh, update function which is internally linked to this state variable and we are just providing it a new value every time we are using the old value incrementing it and you know we are uh, setting the new value to this counter variable and this is working fine for us now there are a few things on top of this use state apart from this particular basic syntax that you should keep in mind one is that one important stuff is that you should always set the state or use the use state hook at the top level of any component so this is a component and this is a top level so inside the uh, component directly we have used this particular code statement if i had to do this if true right now this would always execute because this is true but still react will give us error because it will say that you know you have to use this use state hook 
यू कैन नॉट कॉल इट कंडीशनली यू कैन नॉट कॉल इन साइड अ लूप यू कैन नॉट कॉल इट इन साइड एनी अदर ब्लॉक ऑफ कोड यू हैव टू यूज इट डायरेक्टली एट द टॉप लेवल ऑफ द कॉम्पोनेंट राइट सो इट हैज टू बी एट द टॉप लेवल दैट इज वन थिंग दैट यू शुड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर Another thing is that uh, we have set different values over here. Like I mentioned, it can be a number, it can be a string, it can also be a function. So we can also have something like this. You know, we can internally. So this is the style where you know we define a function. So we have to define an arrow function internally that will call another function. So if we have to have some function initialize, maybe you know the value for this particular counter, uh, we can use it like this. We can have this fetch data function. and yes yeah, so this fetch data function might you know we have some api call or anything that is getting the data and then setting it into the state variable so we can also provide the initial value as a function and that is how you do it in react this is the style you provide an arrow function and that is referring internally to another function you cannot directly write this you cannot do this or you can do this okay so this is also working fine right but whenever you know for example in on click function we have to call a function with some parameters so there's a different way of doing that in react we'll cover that but yes okay this is also working fine but this style can also be used in this case right so this is more react way of doing it but anyways for now you know let's just focus on the simple example uh, we have initialized our counter variable with zero and this is incrementing the counter variable perfectly we learned about a few things that okay this has to be at the top level initial value can be anything it can be a function it can be an object it can be number string boolean etc we used a number and you can have multiple state as well so for example if you want to have some other counter you know uh, counter second let's say so you can have another counter uh set as a state maybe you know have some different values to it so you can have multiple state variables that you can manage a uh, state variable can be an array a list there is a slight difference when we are handling array uh, value as a state variable which i will cover in the next video so let's not just you know overwhelm ourselves with too much information so for now just you know remember that okay use state function use state hook is used to uh, create a state variable and then use that state variable to you know make your user interface dynamic right every time when this is called uh, the user interface gets re-rendered a quick exercise for you guys is you know you can try this out uh have this minus function as well and uh, let's just bring this bit in between right so now we have a plus and a minus button uh ideally this should be minus and this should be plus so what you can try out is this is an increment value function you can also create a decrement value function right so create a decrement value function this would be super easy you know you just have to simply use the same way just like we are doing it as increment just this has to be changed and you will be able to create the decrement value uh, feature as well to this so this plus will increase the value this minus will decrease the value so that's the homework for you guys do it and you will have a uh, good enough understanding of how state works we will continue on this journey of understanding state because state is a very important concept so i'll make more videos around it we'll cover more different stuff like you know uh, what are the main points that you should always remember while you are dealing with states how you can deal with arrays and list of objects or list of different values while you are uh, handling those as uh state objects or state variables so i'll cover all those things in the upcoming videos so stay tuned subscribe to our youtube channel so that you get updated whenever i post a new video for the react series if you have any confusion around this whatever i've covered in this particular video please do post your comments uh i will try my best to you know come up with good explanations and will reply to all of the comments obviously i don't get much comments so whatever you comment down below we'll have we'll start a discussion there and you know i'll help you out with whatever confusion that you have So please if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and yes see you in the next video